SMT Nation, we back. Nation, really big news out of uh, SES, the, the group that's supposed to be, I guess, clearing all the C-band uh, satellite operators. You know, this is a big thing with respect to the capacity of the Verizon network, AT&T network. Even T-Mobile has a little bit of C-band. Uh, any operator that has licenses for C-band can now access all of the available bandwidth that they have purchased and successfully won on in the recent auction for C-Band. So this is really big news. What you're going to be seeing uh, on, a, on several different levels is going to be the best networking we've had across this country, across basically all carriers. It's really exciting, folks. Let me tell you guys what's going on and what our expectations should be moving forward from our 5G networks here in the US. I'll be sure to link the article from Light Reading It'll be in the description. Also in the description, the real SMT Buy Me a Coffee link. Want to show your support for your creators? Buy us a coffee. Link is down there. There's other ways to support us as well. And of course, the, the Fox. You guys know the Fox. The Fox can save you money. All right. Mint Mobile, our partner, can save you tons of dough on wireless service. Use our partner link, mintmobile.com forward slash need. Save those ducats. Buy any other plans at these great promotional rates. I still see... Deflation promo pricing is active. So using our partner link, you can save that money and use it for anything else. Switching is super easy. They'll quickly send you out a SIM card, or if you're looking for an eSIM activation, they do that. It's super easy, convenient, and seamless. All right, folks, so here is the situation. All right, if you are a Verizon customer, if you are an AT&T customer, you are thrilled with this news. If you're a T-Mobile customer, you're thrilled as well. And that's because C-Band is now completely cleared. Or at least the company SES that was doing the repacking of C-Band uh, just declared to the United States FCC uh, the certification of Phase 2 Accelerated C-Band clearing. All right, so the, the licenses were being utilized for satellite service. And when they were auctioned, they have to be obviously repackaged for use in terrestrial mobile service, right? From uh, cell towers and stuff like that, not satellites. So SES has fulfilled their commitment. And now what that means is basically Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, whoever has C-band licenses across the country is going to be able to utilize all their licenses. So for Verizon, like take for example, in my market, they hold 140 megahertz bandwidth and licenses. AT&T holds 80 megahertz of bandwidth and T-Mobile has 40 megahertz of bandwidth. And uh, now they can all deploy that. You know, uh, AT&T has already been doing the 80 megahertz. It's been about a week or so. T-Mobile hasn't deployed radio gear yet for theirs, but now they can, right? And it makes sense because they can activate it. And then for Verizon, they just activated 100 megahertz bandwidth. Uh, it was previously at 60 they got the 40 back from AT&T from the block A. Uh, they were able to access it that way. Uh, but now they just need to retune radios for the additional 40 megahertz. And you got yourself 140 megahertz of bandwidth here, right? Uh, there are some markets that have 160 megahertz, some 180, some 200. Now Verizon can basically just, you know, deploy all those licenses across the country now in places like we're hearing vegas we're hearing la everything has been completely uh you know the the full the full bandwidth has been active now and we're starting to see you know two gigabits per second speed this was the potential of the spectrum this is what it was going to do for the 5g networks across the country big for verizon because they have to modernize their entire network they've got a huge network that has become really outdated this, again, is all part of their modernization process, and, and they'll sell mobile network service, right, on this on this channel, on, on this uh, spectrum. They'll sell, uh, you know, home internet service too, right? So it's a dual-purpose network that motivates them to upgrade the network across the country. AT&T can do this as well. You know, T-Mobile's been doing it with N41, and, and this is kind of where I'm going with this, right? Once... All these cell sites are upgraded. You're going to have incredible networking experiences from all the carriers. You're going to have 
basically unrecognizable speeds. In fact, in my opinion, you can't really, you won't really be able to tell who's who anymore with respect to just, you know, take a speed for, speed test from a carrier, you know, hide the carrier that that it's from, and and you'll see they all are going to perform the same. Uh, I've been using the AT and T network, the five G plus, the C band, eighty megahertz, and I'm seeing six hundred mega megabits down, and I'm seeing fifty, sixty megabits up. You know, I've, I t just the last couple of days, 24, 48 hours, I've been testing Verizon at 100 megahertz of C-band. I'm seeing, you know, five, 600 indoors. I'm seeing eight, 900 outdoors. I'm seeing 100 megabits per second uplink, 130, 90, incredible throughput, which is great because, you know, the Verizon has incredible market share here in my, my PA, my market, right? So now they've got the tools you know, they paid $40 billion for this stuff, and now we're starting to see the fruits of the labor. All the sites are upgraded. You know, the, the, the tower grid is really dense here. And then we're starting to see that for AT&T, you know, same type of situation. You know, the, the, the upgrades have been really good. About 80% or so of the market has been completely upgraded with respect to C-Band and DoD. T-Mobile's been upgrading their network for like three and a half years. It's very, very fast. You know, you're getting six, seven, eight hundred megabits per second down across the city. Uh, you know, they don't have the market share here, uh, but they do have some home internet usage. So, you know, the, these networks are going to be incredibly fast. For the for the carriers with the C band, basically you're looking at the top 46 PAs. They've got really modern networks now, right? They've upgraded all the sites, uh, and they've got all the bandwidth, you know, going on air. You know, look forward to those those speed improvements. And the ability to potentially use any of these carriers as a 5G home internet service, with the exception of AT&T, which is going to be a little bit more surgical, a little bit more situational with those solutions. But uh, this is huge. Um, you know, I, I, I was speculating that, you know, by by next year, you know, Q1 of 2024, you know, T-Mobile speed lead as of the 5G speed leader is basically done, you know, because... It was only a matter of time until the other two carriers got bandwidth that could match right through C-band. And, you know, it looks like that's basically happening right now in the top 46 PAs. And then I think by the end of the year, the next 40 or 50 PAs going through the top 100, they'll basically be at that point too. You know, so if you like, you know, your current carrier, they're probably about to get better. You know, I think this will obviously motivate T-Mobile to continue to do more, to, to continue to fight for business and customers, you know, because uh, I think up to this point in metros, being on the T-Mobile network was really enjoyable and great. And now in metros, being on Verizon, AT&T, you, you can't really tell the difference if you're choosing your network access based on speed. If you're not choosing on speed, then maybe this doesn't change the outcome. But I will tell you guys, when, when the C-band is dense, when you got all your macros, when you got small cells all on there, it is a very nice experience. It's been really good for me. I've enjoyed it on Verizon. I've enjoyed it on AT&T. You know, T-Mobile's got an incredibly fast network, too, that I've been using for several years now. And when the networks are fast, they're enjoyable. You know, you download apps quick. Uh, you know, you can hotspot data. You know, and, and this is this is the point. I think where we recognize and realize that, you know, whatever 5G lead T-Mobile, you know, had with respect to speed, it's, it's kind of just going to go away. Now, they do have a jump in terms of availability, right? They've been building out the national upgrading for a long time. So Verizon's got to probably build for another year, 12 months. And then they basically will have the same amount of pops covered. at and is probably going to be two years or something like that. It's going to take them a little longer. They're not as aggressive. Their networks are already a little bit more modern, so they'll pace themselves a little bit more cautiously. Uh, but, you know, this this is exactly what we've been waiting for. Uh, this is this is what we thought C-Band was going to be. And, and, this is, and so far, it's been great. And it's only going to get better, right, when it's on all the sites and all the bandwidth is live. Exciting times. Look out for C band upgrades in your market. Look up, you know, look out for the bandwidth increases. This is huge. And guys, this is nothing but good for the consumer. All right. 
And, you know, big shout out to T-Mobile for pushing the big two to upgrade their networks at a blistering pace. Big shout out to Verizon for forcing the issue, you know, uh, getting C-band repacked, accelerated, upgrading cell sites. Big shout out to AT&T for, you know, building a great network and starting their upgrade process. You know, we're in a good situation, right? We really are. This is the best networking we've ever had as customers. And uh, take advantage of it. You know, you're paying for these networks. Get yourself a nice 5G phone as they complete these upgrades in your markets and take advantage of it. And maybe use the 5G home internet too. If your cable operator sucks or is expensive, has explosive pricing, you got DSL or satellite or something, you can beat them with this, guys. <laughs> Fun times, really good. Uh, your commentary, appreciated, down in the comment section. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard.